be able, glory to God, to break the bread of life on today. And I'm excited, glory to God, that God has amen, given me, hallelujah, this, uh, this sermon on today, glory to God. I, I ask myself time and time again, that God, I want to always bring the word for your people that is right now. Amen. And God uh, has not failed me yet. And so I thank God on today that uh, God has given me, I believe, such a word to, amen, to inspire, to encourage, amen, to, uh, to also to let, amen, the body of Christ know, amen, that that God speaks, amen, and when God speaks, come on now somebody, when God speaks, amen, let us have a listening ear, amen, to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church, glory to God, and so on today, glory to God, I, I'm going to get as far as I can uh, in this message on today. I might have to make it a two-part series, but we'll see what the Lord has for us on today. But, uh, but looking in the book of Numbers, glory to God. We're going to look in the book of Numbers on today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Numbers, the 11th chapter. Glory to God. Verses 1 through 6, and then we're going to uh, go over to Numbers uh, 13, excuse me, uh, 1 through 3, uh, 25 through 28, 30 through 33. Amen. Uh, and I have a couple more, glory to God, and but we'll, and, uh, well, we'll look at that, we'll, and then we're going to go to Joshua, chapter 2, verses 1 through 2. Verses 8 through 11, and then we're going to cap off with verses 23 through 24. Amen. But Numbers uh, chapter 11, verse number 1, and we're going to go through verse 6. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, and the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And consumed them that they were in the uttermost parts of the camp. And the people cried unto Moses. And when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. And he called the name of the place Tabarah. Because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And the mixed multitude that was among them, watch this, fell a justing, and the children of Israel also wept again, and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? We remembered the fish, which we did eat in Egypt, freely. The cucumbers, and the melons, and the leeks, and the uh, onions, and the garlic. But now, our soul, watch this, it's dried away. There is nothing at all besides this man before our eyes. Verse 13. Glory to God. Amen. Numbers chapter 13. Verse 1 through 3. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Send me that send thou men that they may search the land of Canaan which I give unto the children of Israel, of every tribe of their fathers shall ye send a man, every one a ruler among them. And Moses, by the command of the Lord, went from them, went from the wilderness of Paran. All those men were heads of the children of Israel. Verse 25 through 27. And they went and came to Moses. And Aaron, and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the wilderness of Paran, to Kadesh, and brought the word unto them, and unto all the congregation.
nation and show them the fruit of the land. And they told him and, and said, We came unto the land where thou sittest, and surely it floweth with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land. And the city are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Verse 30 to 33. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it. For we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people. For they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which came of the giants. And we were in our own eye, our own sight, as grasshoppers. And so we are in their sight. Amen. Over to the book of Joshua. Chapter 2. Verse 1 through 2. And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go, view the land, even Jericho. And they went and came unto and haul his house named Rahab and lost there. And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came men in hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country. Verse 8 through 11. And before they were laid down, she came up unto them upon up, up the roof. And she said unto the men, I know that the Lord hath given your given the land, and that your terror is falling upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the, the water of the Red Sea for you, when ye came out of Egypt, and what ye did unto the kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Sion and Og, whom he utterly destroyed. And as soon as we had heard these things, our fathers did melt, neither did, the, neither did uh, there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord, your God, he is God in heaven above and in the earth. Verses 23 and 24. So the two men returned and descended from the mountain and passed over and came to Joshua, the son of, of Nun, and told him all things that befell them. And they said unto Joshua, Truly, the Lord, watch this, had delivered into our hand all the land, for even all the inhabitants of the country do faint because of us. Amen. God's word for God's people. Saints of God on today, glory to God. This is going to be a twofold presentation. Yeah. Glory to God. And on today, amen, uh, if you will bear with me just for a few minutes, glory to God, I, I, I want to speak to you from the sermon topic. Watch this now. You can motivate people with wrong motives. Come on now. Amen. You can't motivate people with wrong motives. And I ask a question to you all today. What's your motives? Glory to God. In the passage of scripture on today, glory to God. The Lord said we're going to, we're going to identify people 
watch this now, who had wrong motives. And because their motives were wrong, amen, it was hard, amen, to motivate them. But, someone say but, glory to God. We're going to also identify in this series, amen, the type of people that we need to associate with that are motivated, watch this now, to the things of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord had to contrast the two, amen, in order for us to get a visual picture, glory to God, on both ends of the spectrum. That's why he started out, amen, in, uh, 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 in Numbers chapter 11, verse 1 through 6. Watch this now. In these passages of scripture, we identify the motives of complaining. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, we see that uh, in verse 1 it says, and when the people, watch this now, complained, it displeased the Lord. Come on now. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, this ain't the first time that, that Israel complained to Moses, Lord God, after they left out of Egypt. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. And many of us on today, glory to God, amen, listen, a lot of times we like to look at the children of Israel, glory to God, and listen, and, 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 uh, and we look at them and say, God, nah, they were bad people. Uh, they were hard-headed. They were stiff-necked. Glory to God. But if you look, amen, at the children of Israel, glory to God, it's like looking in a mirror on today. Yeah. Glory to God. I know somebody don't like this. Amen. Listen, but uh, but many of us have a complaining spirit. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so it says the people, glory to God, complain unto it displeased the Lord. That must be some that must be some real complaining, y'all. Come on now, somebody. Glory to God. Now when you complain to the point, you complain so much. Woo, glory to God. Amen. I know that I'm going to get a whole bunch of today. Glory to God. But listen, amen, I'm trying to let you know that you can't motivate people with wrong motives. Woo, glory to God. Amen. So it said, glory to God, amen, that, 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 listen, that the, the children of Israel complained so much that it displeased God. Amen. And the Lord, uh, glory to God, he said he heard and his anger. Glory to God. You can't tell me that God won't get angry. Amen. I know, listen, uh, I, I know that he's a loving God. And everybody will, oh, he's such a loving God. Yes, he's a loving God, but he's also a God of wrath. He's also a God of discipline. Glory to God. Amen. And so, it said that his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And consumed them that were uh, in the uttermost part of the camp. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the people cried. Oh, glory to God. And it's something, glory to God, that when we complain and then we start to reap the benefits of our complaining, that we start to cry, God, I, I'm sorry. Glory to God. God, I'm sorry, amen. And so the people. Because they saw what God did. He, he destroyed a complaint. Watch this now. And the people cried unto Moses. And the men of God prayed unto the Lord. And when the men of God prayed unto the Lord, it says that the fire was quenched. Glory to God. Amen. But he made that place of a remembrance. He called it Taborah. That means that the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And watch this now. Glory to God. A, a complainer is always a complainer. Glory to God. Because not soon after that instance, watch this now, that they complained again. Oh, glory to God. A complaining person is always pessimistic. That means they're always negative. Glory to God. And listen, a complaining person cannot motivate people for progress. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because why? Because they're always complaining. Glory to God. It says in verse number four, amen, that in the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting. 
and the children of Israel, they went again and said, who shall give us flesh to eat? God was already providing for the men. Amen. On a daily basis. Glory to God. But they said, listen, uh, Lord, not only do we want matter, uh, we need some meat. Yeah. Glory to God. And so they began to cry that, Lord, we need some meat. But God's already provided for them. Amen. Ain't it something, glory to God, that God has provided for you and you still complain? Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on now. Amen. Uh, I was discussing with Lady Harris uh, during this week. Listen, that if you if you look back on the children of Israel, God provided for them. Glory to God. He said he provided, amen, a pillar of cloud by day. And he provided, watch this now, amen, a pillar of fire by night. Glory to God. And then he gave them a complaint. They were hungry. He gave them manna, amen, bread fresh from heaven. Oh, come on, somebody. But they still complain. They said, glory to God, in verse number five. And if we're not careful, we'll begin. See, uh, if we're not careful, a complainer, amen, uh, 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 a complaining person has a miserable life. Glory to God. Amen. And this group of people that we're, that we're focusing on here in the scriptures, glory to God, they, uh, first of all, they were pessimistic. They were negative. Glory to God. And also, they were com uh, they're complaining, amen, it, it, it hindered progress. Yes. And because it hindered progress, and they were a complainer, they were miserable. Yeah. Because they began to settle for, watch this, uh, they began to settle for what was, watch this, rather than what could be. Oh uh-huh. Well, what he saying, Pastor Harris? Well, if you look at verse number five, it says, we remember Ah, uh, come on now. Some somebody was talking about. Amen. Uh, ain't, it, ain't it ironic? Watch this now. Amen. That when trouble starts to happen in our lives, that we start to focus on what was. Glory to God. Rather than what could be. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, when the trials come, amen, that's the time when we need to see God's work. Amen. Uh, we need to see God's hand at work. Glory to God. But so many times we focus on the situation instead of envisioning the victory. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. The children of Israel, watch this, if I can give a little backdrop, they were en route. Come on now. They were en route, amen, to their victory. They were en route to their blessing. They were en route to the land that flowed with what? Milk and honey. Glory to God. Amen. And so uh, we see in verse 5 that a little uh, a little turmoil happened. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, a season of uh, whatever you want to call it, it starts to happen. And they begin to say, we remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt. We begin to think, amen, on today in 2020, I remember back in the day. Glory to God. If I could use that term on the day. Uh, we, we begin to remember back in the day, amen, when I wasn't saved. Come on now, somebody. Hallelujah. I remember how good I had it. Amen. Listen, when I wasn't, I didn't have to go through all this when I wasn't saved. Amen. That's right, because the devil already had you. Right. Ooh, glory to God. Amen. So they said, we, we remember the fish, the good old times. We remember, amen, which we didn't do. In Egypt, freely. The cucumbers and the and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. Listen, you can hey, listen, you can you can look at that scripture and put whatever you used to do in the, in that scripture. I remember hanging out with the boys. I remember hanging out with the girls. I remember doing this. I remember doing that. I remember, amen, smoking the joint. I remember, amen, drinking a forty. I remember. Come on now. Did I have it bad back when I was it? Woo, glory to God. I don't know if I'm going to get a whole bunch of amens out there, but that's all right. Because it says, listen, complain. A complaining person. They begin to say in verse number six, he said, but now, God, that you have got me out here. Moses, that you have got me out here. But now our soul is dried away. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. 
There is nothing at all besides this man. Glory to God. There is nothing beside this man. Look at this. They said there's nothing beside this man. God, uh, I, 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 I know you're blessing me, but is, is this all? Come on now. That's basically what they were saying. God, I, I know you're blessing me. Amen. Fresh from heaven each and every day. But God, is that all? Who oh, glory to God. He said, but now our soul is dry away. There is nothing at all beside this manna before our eyes. A complaining person, hallelujah, glory to God, settles for what was or settles for what is rather than what could be. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the motives of a complaining individual. Glory to God. And you can't motivate people, watch this now, with wrong motives. Listen, I don't care how hard you try. Amen. You be talking to a brick wall. Well, 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 well Pastor Harris, amen. Are all supposed to keep working with them? Glory to God. But if their motives are wrong, come on, come on man. If their motives are wrong, hallelujah. How long, glory to God, shall, amen, I tarry with you? Glory to God. Amen. Now, listen. If your motives are wrong, I can't motivate you. I got to let God do it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody ever try to motivate people with wrong motives? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time. Come on now, somebody. Amen. I, I need for y'all to be real out there today. Lord, I, listen, I'm not going to sugarcoat the word. Listen, you can't motivate people who have wrong motives. Glory to God. Why couldn't the, why couldn't the children of Israel be motivated? Because they had wrong motives. Who oh, glory to God. They, they're not too different than what we are on today. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Numbers uh, chapter 13. Verses 1 through 3. Glory to God. As they're moving closer Watch this now. To Canaan. As they're journeying closer, which was supposed to just be an 11 day journey, as they're journeying closer, amen, to the place where God has for them, Moses said, Listen, uh, they were just supposed to go in. Moses said, I'm going to send out spies. Glory to God. Listen, we got to watch out. Amen. When God has already told us to do something, that we start to second guess God. Come on, Come on now. Numbers, amen, 1 through 13, 13, 1 through 3, it, uh, it identifies the motives of doubting. It identifies the motive of doubting. And it says, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men that they may search the land of Canaan, which, which I give unto the children of Israel. I'm giving you your breakthrough. I'm giving you your deliverance. Glory to God. I'm giving you your healing. Come on now, somebody. Hallelujah. And so, uh, he said, pick some men out of every tribe. Yes. Glory to God. Listen, I don't want nobody left out. Hey, I want a consensus from every tribe that is with us out here. Amen. So, go, listen, go pick. Go pick some men from every tribe. Glory to God. And so, Moses went and picked. Come on now, somebody. He went, he went and picked. Glory to God, out of those tribes. And, and then he said, listen, go. And they went. And they saw. Verse 25 through 28. And they returned. In these verses. They returned. Glory to God. And they brought them to them and showed everybody. They showed them. Watch this now. Come on now. I need somebody to get this. Glory to God. They came back and they showed them the blessing. <laughs> they showed them the goodness. They showed them everything that God has said was on them. They came back with the evidence. Come on, somebody. They came back with the evidence and showed the congregation. And even though they showed the congregation, glory to God, even though Caleb stood up and said, let's go, glory to God, they still doubted God. A doubting person.
person, watch this now, a doubting person cannot see the vision. A doubting person, watch this, cannot envision victory in their lives. Why? Because they're doubting, amen, what they can do. A doubting person cannot believe the outcome is possible even though they see the evidence. Glory to God. A doubting person can have a negative effect on others. How do you know, Pastor? It says, amen, that when they came back, they said, truly, is it, it is exactly what the, how the Lord said it was going to be. He said, but because there's a little opposition over there, come on, somebody, because there's a little opposition over there, we're not able to do it. Because they saw a little opposition, amen, glory to God, they fed, they, they fed their fear into everybody else. And so their motives was wrong, and because their motives was wrong, it infected everybody else to take their motives. See, everybody else was excited, glory to God, until they came back, glory to God, with the report, amen, that, that they thought, and with their wrong motives, and they began to take everybody else. So doubting, come on, someone say doubting. Doubting can have a, a negative effect on others. And begin to have others to take on your own motives. Glory to God. And so we have to be careful. We have to be so careful on today about our motives. What is your motives on today? Come on now, somebody. Hallelujah. What is your motive for kingdom? What is your motive? for your ministry. What is your motive? Watch this now. I'm going to mess somebody up. What is your motives for the, for the department that you're over? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Are you that complainer? That everything that is said in the church, everything, are you that complainer? On, Glory to God. Are, are, are you that doubter? That when the leader says that, listen, uh, we're going to do this, we're going to listen, are you that doubter? That sows the seed of discord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. When the vision's already went forth, glory to God. Amen. Are you that complaining person? Glory to God to turn people around. Are you that doubting person that sows the seed of doubt that causes wrong motives? Who glory to God. Hallelujah. And so we have to know. Come on now. We have to know. Glory to God. And we have to be and we have to be careful. Watch this now. Of those we associate ourselves with. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I, 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 I've been told all my, I, I've been told by my grandmother, my mother growing up, amen, that birds of a feather do what? They fought together. Amen. Bad company corrupts good behavior. Come on now. Hallelujah. Bad company corrupts good behavior. Glory to God. Amen. If you're hanging around the wrong crowd, either one or two things going to happen. Come on now. Amen. Either you're going to draw them or they're going to draw you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's the same way. Amen. Listen. Well, listen. We're dealing with people. We have to be careful. Amen. That, that, listen. That we don't get to a point in our lives, glory to God, that we get all twisted and turned. Amen. Trying to motivate somebody that really don't want to be motivated. Glory to God. I, mm, I got so much out there. I want to. But I'm leaving with this on today. I'm leaving with this on today. And we'll finish up on next Sunday. Glory to God. What is your motives? If you're a complainer, come on now. Turn around and start being a motivator. Come on. If you are a doubter, come on now. Turn that thing around and start being a stop start being a believer. Strengthen your faith. Strengthen your outlook. Glory to God. Amen. Stop saying what is what is not possible. 
and start claiming what is possible. The Bible says, amen, that all things are possible to them that what? That believe. All things are possible. Glory to God. Get the word C-A-N N O T out your vocabulary. Get the word C-A-N apostrophe T out your vocabulary. Glory to God. I'm always telling my granddaughter, glory to God, amen, that when the word can't comes out of her mouth, I said, no, no. You don't say can't. Glory to God. You try. And you keep on trying. She was trying to work a yo-yo. She was so excited about the yo-yo, but whenever she went to go put it down, it would go down, but when it came back up to grab it, she couldn't, couldn't grasp it. She was like, I can't do it. I said, yes, you can. I said, I sh let me show you. And I kept working with her. And I kept working with her. And I give it to her. I show her by example. And I, I would give it to her. And she would do it. And she just couldn't. She couldn't. She, was, she kept working. And I said, well, give it. Let me show you again. This is how you do it. Bring it up. I gave her an example. And I kept working with her. And then she put it on her hand. And it went down. And it came up. And she grabbed it. And it went down again. And of course, she, she, she got excited when she wanted to grab it again. But her motives were right because she had a desire to do it. And because she had a desire to do it, glory to God, I motivated her. And because I motivated her, she was able to get the yo-yo process down. But if she would have gave up, if she would have complained, if she would have doubted who she was, she would have never have it. She would just say, I'm done, threw it down, and walked away. We can work. Listen, watch this now. People who want to achieve. Glory to God. Those are the ones that you want to, you want, you want. I can work with. But those with the wrong motives, watch yourself. Because you'll get frustrated. I want to say this next week. Because I want to get into how Moses got frustrated. Come on now. The man of God got frustrated. Because of the motives of the people. Glory to God. And so we'll finish up on next, on next Sunday. With the sermon series. You can't motivate people with wrong motives. Part two is going to show when you associate yourself with the right individuals, how breakthrough can happen. Glory to God. Bless you on today. I just want to pray for you. Amen. Glory to God. So as we go for the Lord in prayer, Father God, we thank you. We praise you. Mm -hmm. We cry out to you today, O oh God. We ask, Father God, that you would strengthen us and encourage us on today, O oh Father God. Father God, we ask, O oh Lord God, that yeah. Lord God, that you would put people in our path. Glory to God. Lord God, that are motivated for the things of God. That are motivated for the things of you, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, that we will be careful, Father God. Lord God, on how we use our time, Father God. Glory to God. With individuals, oh God. God, individuals, Father God, that are not motivated, God. God, we pray for that motivation. Hallelujah, God. But God, we ask, oh God, that you would keep us. Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus. Bless those right now, Father God, who are watching, oh Father God. Father God, we know, Lord God, as we start, oh Father God, to open up these ministries. Glory to God. God, that you would have your hand of protection on every ministry, oh God. In the name of Jesus. 
God, we continue, Father God, to pray for the Wiregrass area, God. Every leader, God. God, that as we can, as we open back up, oh Father God. God, that our motives, Father God, hallelujah, glory to God. God, Lord God, will be pure, Father God, for the people. God will be pure, Father God, for you, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, that ministry, oh Father God, Lord God, would not be like anything, Lord God, we've seen before. Reset us, oh God. Thank you, God. Reposition us, oh God. Transform us and conform us, oh God. We shape us and we mold us, oh God. We image us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Ask, Father God, that you would go to each and every household right now, Lord God. Touch down your people, oh God. Father God, somebody needs you, Father God. Lord God, somebody don't know, Father God, right now, God, where the next meal is coming from. Father God, somebody right now, Father God, don't even know, Father God, how the bills are going to get paid. Father God, somebody right now, Lord God, don't even know, Lord God, if they're going to open back up their place of business. Give the comfort, God, that they need. Send the help that they need. God, I ask, oh God, Lord God, that, that, that every computer program, uh -huh, that every computer program, Lord God, that has, that has frustrated them, God, when they couldn't get in, oh Father God, and get the aid and help that they need, God, that you release that computer program now, God, in the name of Jesus. Small business, small business loans are going through right now, God. Hallelujah, God. Unemployment benefits, God, if they're going through right now, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's being released right now, God. Thank you. Every glitch in the computer, God. God, we call it of none effect right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Release, oh Father God. Release, oh Father God. Release the funds to your people, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, God. And we thank you now, God. We give you the praise. We give you the honor, Father God. And we give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, we do not want to end the service without extending, amen, the invitation to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. If you do not know him, glory to God, or if you may be, you may be in a backsliding condition, amen. On today, I need for you to repeat these words after me. Father, forgive me of my sins. I believe that Jesus is your son. I believe that he was born of a virgin. I believe that he died for my sins. I believe that he rose from the dead. Jesus, I ask that you come into my heart today. I want to live for you. Amen. We believe on today that if you prayed that prayer, glory to God, that you've been born again. Or if you were in a backsliding condition, amen, that you have, glory to God, been restored back to the family. Find yourself a good Bible-based church, a good Bible-based ministry, and start serving the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Lady Harris, you have anything? Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God, amen, on today for Lady Harris working so diligently behind the scenes. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We want to thank God for the word this Sunday. We want to thank God for everyone who's viewing. We thank God for our investors. We just truly thank God for this day. Yes. This is the day the Lord has made. And I just took some notes and, and I'm truly thankful for the word on today. Are you that complainer? Okay. Are you that doubter? It's easy to trust God when things are all going well. But can we continue to trust him when things are hard? When life is difficult? When life is confusing? See, God never changes. We're the one that changes. God never changes. And I want to encourage you that God's strength is always available. His faithfulness is always available. Let's continue to trust God in the easy times, but let's also trust God in the hard times. 
we thank God, we thank God for Pastor Harris and the word, and I encourage you all to stay encouraged, to keep God first, to trust in God. Yes, we're in some trying times, but if we just continue to trust God, he'll lead and guide us, he'll direct us, he will keep us, he will comfort us, he will give us the peace that we need during these hard and difficult times. Thank you once again for viewing. We love you all. God bless you. Amen. We thank God, amen, for Lady Harris, glory to God, on today. We thank God for you, our investors. Amen. We thank those who, are, who have viewed. Amen. On today, glory to God. Be with us again on, uh, on Wednesday. We're going to continue to, to stream, but we're going back into uh, back into live, be back into regular services. Amen. And so we thank God on today for that. Uh, remember, as I, as I always say, amen, be kind, be safe, but above all, be in God. God bless you. We love you. Go in peace.